Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel where we share tips and tricks to improve your communication skills and professional relationships. Ever feel like you're talking to a brick wall? It's one of the most frustrating experiences, especially when you have something important to say. Today, I'm diving into expert tips for dealing with people who just won't listen. These strategies will help you get your message across more effectively. First up, let's talk about matching communication styles. Understanding and adapting to how others process information can make a huge difference. People process information differently. Some are visual, others auditory, and some kinesthetic. Recognizing these differences is key to effective communication. If you're dealing with a visual person, use diagrams, charts, and written summaries. Visual aids can make your message clearer and more memorable. For auditory types, speak clearly and repeat key points. They benefit from hearing information multiple times to fully grasp it. Think about how you best absorb information and adapt to their style. This small adjustment can lead to big improvements in understanding. Next, improve your own listening skills. Be an empathetic listener. Show that you genuinely care about what the other person is saying. Let the other person fully express themselves, then validate their points before sharing your thoughts. This builds trust and opens up better dialogue. Avoid interrupting, rambling, or seeming distracted. These behaviors can shut down communication and make the other person feel unheard. This not only respects them, but also models the listening behavior you want from them. Lead by example to encourage better listening habits. Now let's move on to explaining the why and impact. People are more likely to listen when they understand the reasons behind your message. Clearly explain the reason behind your message and the potential impact, both positive and negative. This adds context and urgency to your words. Say things like, I have something important to say, to grab their attention. This signals that what you're about to share is significant, and I need you to listen to highlight the importance. Directly asking for their attention can make them more likely to focus on your message. Involve them in the process. When people feel included, they're more likely to engage and listen. Ask the person to summarize what you said to ensure comprehension. This not only checks their understanding, but also reinforces the message. Provide options and have them decide which to pursue. Giving choices can make them feel more in control and invested in the outcome. This way, they get invested. Document agreements. Writing things down makes them more concrete and less likely to be forgotten. Put any agreed upon actions and goals in writing. This provides a clear reference point for both parties and helps keep everyone accountable. This provides a clear reference point for both parties. Regularly review these documents to ensure everyone is on the same page. Follow up to ensure commitments are met. Consistent follow up shows that you take the agreement seriously and expect the same from them. Finally, provide feedback and consequences. Constructive feedback helps people understand the impact of their actions and how to improve. If the person still doesn't listen, provide polite feedback on their behavior and its impact. Addressing issues calmly can lead to better outcomes. Say something like, you seem distracted. Is there anything I can help with? This shows empathy and a willingness to support them. Explain the consequences if the behavior continues, such as missed deadlines or unmet goals. Clear consequences can motivate change. Remember, the key is to adapt your communication style, model good listening, get them involved, and provide clear feedback and accountability. These steps can transform your interactions. With patience and consistency, you can improve the listening skills of those around you. That's it for today. Keep practicing these tips and you'll see positive changes. Hit the like button if you found these tips helpful, and don't forget to subscribe for more professional advice. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us.